Okay, so here's the little Jenny. So I added a couple of output terminal posts and I scrounged a rectifier out of a old power pack, a really you know low no value milli milli uh, milliamp output one. So if it cut break those open basically like that just bust it open and inside you have that and then you have a little rectifier board so you throw this away and run your AC in it's marked AC you can see which way it goes and of course this is going to be DC and now and now the Christmas tree lights work so there you go, look at that. He's running. I think I'm running out of method, so. Hey? I'll top up the machine and come back. Alright, let's get this going again. So it will definitely light, light one. One of those Christmas. LED strips. Now I measured the voltage and the actual output voltage on this is 2.85 volts AC, that's the maximum. And when I um, tried those Christmas free lights on my durable power supply, they kicked in at 2.5, you know, and I thought it's got to be that it doesn't like AC. You know, I mean, these LEDs yeah, the computer case run fine on on AC. This Christmas tree ones won't. We're well not at this sort of voltage anyway. So a little rectifier there is the answer. And you can actually run a whole string of them. Here we go. Bit hard to see because the shed's a bit on the bright side, but they're all they're all lit up. Yeah, how cool is that? So that's how you do it. That's how you get around the uh, the AC problem. Just strip a power pack down and get out the uh, the rectifier. So you can see it's running better on just the one LED, otherwise putting a lot, a lot of load on the little Jenny. But we've got success, so I thought I'd show you what, what I did. And, uh, yeah. Oh, now we've got the garbage truck going past. Oh, All yeah, right, what a bloody noisy day, and the wind's blowing like crazy outside. It's a good day to be in the shed. So, yeah. How's that grab you? So there you go Bill, you can do it, Bill Baggins, you put me on, onto these uh, little lights from Big W and to show you that all things are possible with the right stuff, you know, and you know those power packs, those low voltage ones, milliamp ones, I've thrown out heaps of them over the years because they've never been any bloody good, I didn't think about the fact that they've got a little rectifier in them that is eminently suitable for this sort of work, so uh, yeah, that's what you do. I did initially think of turning down the diameter of the pulley on the generator to try and get more speed out of it, but I think that the the filling engine's pretty well maxed out. It's doing it okay. It would probably get it up a little bit faster, but it's putting extra load on it, and I think it might be a bit of a cat chase in the tail situation. So I'll leave it like that. So then I. Yeah, I put the uh, then I put the uh, terminals in there, terminal posts. That was easy, just wire them in from the bottom. And then I measured the voltage because I hadn't had an accurate measurement, and it was 2.85 maximum voltage AC. And I thought, well, if I convert that to DC, you get a little bit of loss. I haven't actually measured to see how much I do lose, and I'll check that in a minute. And um, 
I might have enough volts to kick it, kick start those bloody white LEDs. Because white LEDs generally need higher starting voltage. And I got them to start with the variable power supply at 2.5 or 2.45. So I thought, well, if the rectifier works, as it should, and I don't lose too many milliamps out of it, uh, I should get those lights to light up. And I did. So that's, that's what I've done. I'll um, get the modometer and see how many volts DC it's putting out. Ah, 2.45, look at that. Right on the money, so that's the... She's lost point... So she's lost point, uh, point 0.4 of a... Nearly half of a, uh, half a volt. So, I thought it would knock it around a little bit. You always do get losses with, um, rectifiers but um, anyway that was enough that it had enough to get that light going <laughs> how good is that eh do this sort of stuff and you can play around with electronics and learn a bit I'm no great electronics whiz but I got enough to be dangerous 2.5.513 yeah that's good yeah, I'm really pleased with the way it's all turned out now. Got it all working perfectly, so I'll uh, just leave that lead as it is. I'm not going to try and build it in. I'll just leave the uh, rectifier so I can add it as I want to. And that way I can have, a have AC or DC off the Jenny. I can actually use the battery pack that came with the Christmas lights, hook it up and charge the... Um, charge them up, although 2.5 might be a bit high voltage. Yeah, that might be a bit dangerous. Yep. But, anyway, at least it's got output I can use, and, uh, yeah. Okay. And here it is. You can just take the, uh, Bridge rectifier off. These are some risers out of a computer case, you know, motherboard risers, and you can use them as little terminal posts. And there's some contacts out of an old light switch. I don't. Think, I'm not sure if they're brass or what they are. Now they're steel, but they um, they seem to be conducting. Okay, so. Yeah, so that finished it off just nicely. Well, there you go. That's the end of the of the video. And it's been a quite a learning curve. It's right throughout, for me anyway. But it does reinforce and emphasize something that I've always said in my videos with projects like this is that never underestimate the power of junk there is actually no such thing as junk if you can repurpose it and use it for something and yeah in this case who would have thought the solution was so simple all right i hope you got a few good ideas out of it and yeah get out there and get hunting see you next time cheers